But what I did was add a, a decoration to it. So I had done a, a star decoration for another project. You could do, oh, snowflakes, snowmen, trees, Santa, you know, whatever you want to decorate the front of your card. I, I decided to do um, stars and the, the word joy for mine. So to do that, I just used a nice swirly font called Zyomara. It's a free font from defont.com. There it is, Zyomara. Has some really nice swirls. So to do this one, I just click on the T on the right side and type in the word joy. You double click over here so it comes in here. And I'm going to split by glyphs. That makes the word come in with each letter separated and accept. So I can make it bigger. I don't want it any bigger than, let's say, four inches. Um, keep the aspect ratio by clicking on the gold lock and maybe make it a width of, well, it's not bad but where it is right now, so we'll just leave it there. Um, we can always resize it when we're done. One thing I wanted to have on this was a, a swirly tail like I got here and I was having trouble finding a, a font that I liked that, that had the tails and this one doesn't, doesn't have a tail on the lowercase y. So I thought, well, maybe I'll try my hand at drawing. Now I really um, recommend that you try this just for fun and just use your delete key or redo as many times as you need to, but I clicked on this pencil and selected super smooth because I can't draw steadily with my trackball. And um, so if you click super smooth, it keeps your line really smooth. And what I did was I just took my um, lines, click left click and hold and drag. And sometimes you get weird things like that you can just control Z undo if you don't like it. Now the faster you move the less squigglies you get. So up and around <laughs> control Z and I get all kinds of weird things so you just kinda just keep trying control Z. Oh that's not bad. Now that was just really quick. Every once in a while I'll get something I like. Even if I don't like it too well, I can always click on that top arrow and I can, I can change things. I can drag, if I left click and delete a node, then I have a bigger line, I could drag this out more or in more, but I kind of like how it turned out this time. Now what I've got is a single line and I can kind of position it and click to uh, angle it so that it's lining up with that tail on the Y in the right direction. I could resize it and once I, I see how I could use it then I'll go to shadow and do a shadow layer of about 0.03 and what I'm aiming for is the thickness of the font, so maybe five. That looks good. And I want to do rounded and accept. And that makes the ends round. So I move away my original and I'm going to zoom in a little bit here by typing four and three. And I can see the angle of this little piece and I see that it needs to rotate just a little bit to line up with what I already have and I think probably I could stand to be a little taller 
so it doesn't run into the text. And then I can select all of them. I'll, I'll zoom back out. See if I like it. Then select all of them and just weld them together. Now I can get rid of those little bumps by left clicking and deleting the nodes if I want to make that a little smoother just left click, right click delete node, left click, right click delete node so um, that's the idea of how I got the tail but then I got a even a better idea I think so I'm going to undo all of this so you can see my second idea and this one's much easier but I think you ought to play with with that draw tool with the with with this super smooth on it I found out that this N over here in the same font has some really nice curly cues so if I double click those I have to make sure I'm on the top arrow and double click on the N notice how nice those little tails are on there well if I use my eraser here and just I'll set it to 0.25 so it's really tiny then just um, hold the control key and drag across the both of the different arms on here that have squigglies and just click on split on the bottom then I have two nice little squiggles that I can mirror and flip and then I can rotate to get my own custom swirl there without even having to draw so there's one idea this one has a little wider curve on it if I mirror it I could bring it over and rotate it a bit and I can decide which one I like better I think I like this one better I can make it taller I kind of like it to go about the height of the first letter and then I can join it all together so there we have it the, the word joy